Temperatures are very warm. Once again, we're at 88. Look at the feels like temperature 91. There is a surface boundary to the north and storms are firing along this and they have been producing some hail and damaging winds. We're getting some reports out of uh, Iowa Falls of some wind damage and some scattered power outages. The cell now is south of Parkersburg down around Grundy Center. You had south on Highway 14. Also getting some reports of some wind damage east southeast of Humboldt. These are severe thunderstorm warnings here for this cell east of Humboldt right now. Again, hail and wind a threat with that. Hail right now looks to be around an inch at best, but I do think it could squeeze out some 60 mile per hour winds briefly. And then another cell east of Pocahontas. You get the movement on these. They're just kind of moving due east right now. They're going up in the atmosphere and then collapsing a bit, but then refiring along that surface boundary. So the impacts with these storms, large hail and wind damage. Then overnight we could get a line of storms developing. There is a slight risk that we could get a few tornadoes embedded in that line, but a better chance again overnight for wind damage and large hail. This will develop in South Dakota, become an area of thunderstorms and then sweep across the state. Right now you can see how widely scattered it is just generally to the north. The rest of us are dry out there right now. So hour by hour, these storms track along Highway 20 move out. Watch what happens overnight. This will intensify as it heads to the central part of the state and then even stronger winds southeast. This is at 6 a.m. pushes out and then for most of us, we should dry out the rest of the day on Friday. It looks like Saturday morning. There could be a little bit of morning activity, but I'm expecting a good majority of the weekend to be dry. So hour to hour tomorrow after the early morning thunderstorms move out, it hit 87 in Ames, upper 80s in Adel, mostly sunny, hot day in Corning, 88, Bedford, 89 degrees, 81 Esterville, partly cloudy skies in Carroll at 88. Morning thunderstorms Marshalltown, but then you'll hit 86 and the storms will hang around longer from Cordon, Albia and back in through Bloomfield tonight at low down at 69 degrees storms initially along Highway 20 then overnight storms roll on in. They'd be very early tomorrow high at 89 degrees. Let's just say staying hot out there when you consider the average high 78. So our best chance looks to be early morning here in the metro clouds decrease and it should be a fairly fantastic afternoon. Saturday generally dry 86 heating up more Sunday Monday. I think we bounce the 90s. And then it's a pattern change, a very good chance of storms next Tuesday. But looking behind, temperatures get almost cool for this time of year.